Welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason, your host, and I do models and apparently electronics. So let's take a look at what we're doing. This is a bench update. We're going to look at some new stuff I got, and we're going to talk about um, some new content coming up on the channel. So let's um, I'll stay here for a minute. Um, for about almost the whole year in January of 2020, I was unhappy with the way things were going um income was low and being disabled and not being able to do a lot of stuff i i really didn't have a direction to go in so i did i started doing a lot of research and you know about you know i took all these quizzes and whatever to see something that i would qualify to do and you know with my background i have a background in electronics i have a background in engineering prototyping design uh, machining so you know I have a sense of background but all those tasks and in, in, in type of uh, jobs is stuff that my disabilities prevent me from doing so I did more and more research and I discovered that you know why don't I use my background in electronics to fix some electronics so I was messing around fixing electronics and you know fixed things here or there um, the battery pack for a switch and, you know, different things, changing the, the digitizer and things. So, um, research and research and research and fast forward to, um, August, I started, uh, acquiring the tools that I needed to fix, um, the Nintendo switches. Cause I figured that is, you know, for what you can get them for, you know, not working eighty, ninety dollars and then, you know, sell them and refurbished for, you know, much more money. And the parts aren't too bad and, you know, if you're willing to put in the time, which is mostly what I have, you can you can make a little bit of money that way. It's not a lot of money, but it's it's a little bit of money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share that journey with you guys of the board level repairs on the switch the channel's still going to have the normal content the traffic light project the logic series um some sc scale modeling stuff and things like this this is just you know maybe once a week twice a week video when i'm working on one of these um, i fumble through a lot of it uh it's been a long time since i've done uh, board level diagnostics but i have the equipment you know and you know, I'm able to do that, you know, I use, you know, I have all this single equipment, and it's just sitting here, why not use it for, um, fixing things, and a little bit of income, so, I have the camera way too high, okay, sorry about that, didn't position that before I started, okay, so, we have the camera right side, so, I, I slowly picked up parts, um, you guys saw a tour of my workbench, um, couple days ago and all that stuff but I've also picked up a uh, broken Nintendo switch that um, I'm doing board level diagnostics on um, you know there's I have I have some videos filmed they'll be released unedited raw fumbles mistakes everything all the micro soldering all that stuff is going to be released in either weekly or bi-weekly videos but, um, along with that, I got some of, you know, that I opened it up. It had a cheap generic battery that didn't have, um, any kind of capacity whatsoever. So I got these, um, Nintendo batteries to, to replace it with. Because if I, you know, redo a Switch, I want it to be, you know, high quality and not, not just some garbage. So if I have to put a little bit extra in it for a Nintendo battery, I will, I will do such a thing. And also, you know, this screen has got you know some scratches on it, right there. You can kind of see the the gouges. I'm gonna try to get those out um, using my techniques of polishing clear canopy. If that doesn't work, I'll replace a digitizer. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I have purchased some parts for. Uh, the switches so I don't have to wait for parts when something when I get one I can just fix it this is an LCD screen I got two digitizers some adhesive in here uh, you saw the batteries and 
um, I got uh, a USB test meter uh, for testing the power consumption. This is USB-C. I got my power adapter over there. And then I also got a set of these component books from a friend of mine. Um, they're sample books. They have um, all the different values of like capacitors and things like that. This is 0201 um, 50 volt rated uh, capacitors. And then I also have uh, 402, 603, 805, and 1206 books. Like, for example, this is the 603 resistor book. So it's, you know, luckily it does tell me the ohms over here in, you know, English. I don't know what this 10, 9, 8, I don't understand. I guess that's a reference to page or whatever. I'm not sure. So all the symbols look the same. So, I'm not sure, but I label them, you know, like a book, and then I have them on a little bookshelf type cubby hole that I have off to the side um, where I normally keep my fume extractor when not using it in a set of pull out drawers. Um, I picked up um, a good deal on some joysticks for some Joy Cons that I picked up for um, to go with the tablet only switches, and then I have. Um, these component box that's got my various switch parts. It's got screws um, sorted and organized. It has it has USB-C ports, uh, M92 T17 chips, T13 USB chips, um, some digitizer connectors, some L LCD connectors. Um, I still have some more parts on order that haven't arrived yet. Um, I just I just started and I still getting stuff I have another one of these with just um, generic surface mount components I, I do want to mention um, interstellar electronics if you want a assortment of just uh, one type of um, any kind of assortment of surface mount parts interstellar electronics sent me these um, I want to say in either early 2019 or end of 2018 I received these and this is just diodes um, transistors and this is a a variety pack of 1206 805 and 603 this has already come in handy multiple times but and they also do like I got in here not only just diodes but there are just Zener diodes this was a you know, pack of 34 values of Zener diodes. So, and they're all labeled. Everything's labeled real nice. Um, they come with a little ruler and a little um, chamois cloth. Um, they're, they're, they're good kits. I believe you can buy them on Amazon. But Interstellar Electronics, if you want just a little variety kit of components, I also have some EEPROMs and voltage regulators um, for various projects, like the Traffic Lake Project. When I build that PCB, I'll have all the components I need um, at hand to do that. But you know, a lot of times on a you know game console, capacitors will go bad, resistors can can be blown, and so I got some of that on order, or I got that in stock, and then I have like the basic stuff that goes bad, um, either on order or in stock. So. I can start fixing, you know, two at a time, three at a time, and then as I resell them, I can, you know, get more and get more parts and then, you know, put a little bit away as profit. So that is what is headed forward um, in this new direction in my life that is has been difficult. I've had some issues with trying to remember things is just with my brain damage it's hard to remember things and trying to remember how components work and interact with other components I think is one way and then I just it's it's just not that and it takes me a little bit to to realize that hey I'm doing this wrong but I eventually get there and that's part of the journey so 
and that's what I want this to be is you know you have someone who you know I'm disabled I have brain damage you know I have you know issues with broken broken bones that have been that were healed um, in a way that I can't move or extend my arms my hands will shake so I am doing this micro soldering stuff and it's it, it's possible and you know you can make mistakes and you can you can move forward you know you don't have to oh I, I made it worse well just fix what you made worse and that's and that's you know that's kind of what my goal is so but um my my goal is to get a broken switch and restore it to a like new condition you know if that takes putting a new battery in and you digitize her to get rid of all the scratches because i don't want some mom buying her kid a switch or dad buying her kid a switch and you know they don't have a lot of money so they go on ebay and they buy one and they get it and they give it to their kid and it's all scratched up on the screen i'm like yeah i can't do that so if it's got scratches it's getting a new digitizer i don't care if it you know they're, they're 10 bucks if i have to lose ten dollars because just to get rid of some crap scratches and make a kid happy i'm gonna do that it's not it's not that big of a deal to me i just i i just i would feel bad if someone buys a switch and you know they can't afford a new one so they buy a used one and it comes up all scratched up so or it breaks in three days or you know it just doesn't I'm gonna you know, high quality you want to make sure the joy cons have no joy con drift and just make sure that it's it's top-notch replace anything that needs to be replaced make sure you know it charges and just charges at the rates it should doesn't overheat do thermal paste um, all the stuff that would make it um, a quality refurbishment not that I trust the word refurbishment from any company but um, I'm going to do what I believe I would want to see in a refurbished electronic. And I'm going to start with the switches because they're small and they'll work under the little microscope I have um, with ease. And then, you know, maybe I can move on to um, something larger that I can, you know, move up from there. But I'm going to stick with the switches. Um, I'm going to stay away from the switch light. Because it seems like what could be wrong with those and the resale value is not there. Could be, but I'm going to stick with just the original Nintendo Switches. Um, with the Joy-Cons come off, you can get the tablets pretty cheap. So, that's the first one that I showed earlier. And I have another one coming that um, is going to be a quick fix. It's not that big a deal at all. But that's going to do it uh, for this video, guys. You can check out the links on social media. You can check me out on Patreon. Uh, listen, I hope you guys enjoy what this channel is doing going forward. And, you know, leave me a comment, like, subscribe. I, I think this is going to be fun and entertaining. Because I've already filmed some of it. And I make some mistakes. And it's, it's kind of funny. You know, I was watching it back. And it's... I'm like, wow, why would I do that? But, you know, it's part of the journey, guys. Thank you so much, and have a 